this, this time, is discussions this about ideas thing. for devising. But they had like this thing, it was, it was going around all around Facebook and it was like this slogan where it was like, and then it had like a smiley face like that. And it was just like a, are you okay thing. So it was like, I think it was like a group based on people who like, they could come to them to talk about their problems or something. I don't know, just you saying, are you okay? Remind me of that's probably not even relevant, but you know. Oh, everything's relevant though, isn't it? And so always the good thing about devising is the more stuff you've got, the more chance you have of gotten a, getting a piece together because you've got stuff to get rid of. If you're struggling to get even the smallest amount of stuff, then you're in trouble. But, if you, but throw everything in there and see what sticks. Just another thing that came to my mind when you mentioned verbatim and then you meant then the photos of yourselves, maybe not just the, you could use your own verbatim words. You could almost yeah. like interview each other, have because a story Darcy, from each person, mix them up. So you don't necessarily have to say your own words, but throw your, you know, they could be used as part of the story, couldn't they? Because Darcy was saying the, uh, the lesson that she's like got a story that she, what was it she said to that she doesn't mind using her story? So her story could be spoken by somebody else, though, yeah. verbatim. Does anybody else think they'd have a, a story they could use in this? Yeah. yeah. It's like a, um, a relatable one in terms of like a relationship. So I think we've all got like something relatable that for that age, then yeah. Yeah, something from that age that, 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 that could be... Uh, or maybe even it could be a verbatim story from... As, as we spotted there, still in the toilet... The toilet is the toilet. The toilet the the story from last the toilet, Tuesday. The side. Um, that, that still people at 16 plus... Yeah, get affected. That's still happening, so you know it could be a verbatim thing that you throw in there about it's it's not just you. Don't worry, you know you know it could be something like that. Um, so yeah, using your own stories, but a bit like you know, chorus line was a, a verbatim play. It was based on verbatim stories of real actors on the chorus line that you could <laughs> you go back to chorus line, but you could use you know you could actually be interviewed maybe by each other to come up with a bit of a verbatim script. I think it'd also be cool as well to all write down our stories or whatever and like make it known as to like kind of like make it obvious as to who wrote it but obviously one of us say one of somebody else who did somebody else say it because yeah. then it can kind of show the relevancy to it can affect anybody that same story it can be a matching to anybody or the very opposite of that is they may not make it clear who wrote uh, it and just have it as a piece of material that you can you know like you fold it up throw it into a pot and then t somebody takes it out and reads it and you don't know you don't know also, this has nothing to do with it, but next Thursday we go on a tr college trip. Uh, Now with phones, you could record your screen and not show like yeah, you. Yeah, that's, that's true. And you could like go through an Instagram post, and ha we could have it shown on a screen. And it's just like maybe I'll just on my phone and comment on my friends. I'll just tell them that I'm doing it and comment like you're a slag or like the way you do this is disgusting. And, like then liking my friends' ones to be like, oh, you look amazing. Your hair looks great and stuff like that. Or like make a profile ourselves and put like a photo like of someone crying and then people commenting like, like your bio or like horrible stuff that's relevant to now because we can screen record it and put it up there. Yeah. Um, I don't know what you mean, but yes. Expanded. Yes. <laughs> expand Technically wise, I don't know what you mean, yeah. but you could, I'm sure that you could make a fake thing, couldn't you? Yeah. You wouldn't necessarily yeah, get your friends involved, but they might, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> you okay, Alan? Um, yeah, um, expanding from that, um, could probably have, like, I think it'd be cool if we did, um, like other stuff on the screen so we could be doing something in the actual piece and then we could get the audience attention to turn to the screen and it could be us reenacting what the situation was almost so they could see what is happening just think about if you're taking it to the playhouse what facilities you have there and you, you won't have a screen I mean, you could you could think of a port more portable way of doing something you know you iPhone things, but it would mean it ha you know that you've got projected from an iPhone, but it would mean that you still have difficulties um, interacting with, with it, you know, like live. 
And as a here, you could do that whole big idea, you could do all that, but if you're taking it out elsewhere, you might be more limited, so you'd have to think around it. And there might be something available that you could use to do that. There's a good idea as well of um, uh, the reality behind a photo. So like how somebody might post a photo, say like of a couple smiling or lovey-dovey, and then actually behind the photo, it's like, like what we were doing it with um, Debs, and it was a photo of a couple that was really smiley. And then in actual real life, the girl's looking at the photo and editing it because she looks fat, but not paying any attention to her boyfriend, and like they're not in a good relationship. But yeah. in the photo, you thought, oh, they're having a good day out. Yeah. I love the thought of like the, the actual meaning, like the actual reality. The bigger right? picture. The bigger picture that you don't see. Oh, maybe the bigger picture. Put that down. That could be like the thing. So you, you could do like a series of the bigger picture, the little microcosm of what's happening in the shop, and then around it. Yeah. What's the realities of what is actually happening around the picture? Maybe you could, if you can't, haven't got the technical um, stuff to use. Maybe you could have like a, a, photo, a photo frame, you know, yeah. or a photo. Um, what's that like a Polaroid? Because we could do a really frame, cool one where it's like a photo frame around like a couple looking coupley, and then two people at the front being like, "This is da -da, like we were going to do for um, Mr. Wrong Shoes or whatever," mm. and saying like, "But actually." This is happening here because of this, and that's this because of this, and like they're narrating it. And like saying, like, in the comments it says this, but that's not true. And like, this person has commented this, but they mean that. And, like, if we have two people just in the freeze frame, hugging or whatever, and then two of the And maybe actually have them yeah, in, in a frame, big, and then the person in the rate comes and takes away the frame yeah. and say, let's look at the bigger yeah. picture, shall we? Because it's a. Maybe, yeah, get, make, the, yeah make a little note there. Frame. Have you got this um, on camera? Frame and narrator. Has anyone seen the Black Mirror episode of Noah's Dive? Yes. No. Tell us. Um, it's kind of like this world where a person's actual worth, like net worth. Oh, yeah. Somebody said about that. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's based entirely off their social media, mm -hmm. how many likes they get, what they get rated out of five, things like that. And I just thought that's an idea. We could yeah, yeah. I think that's been brought up, actually. Yeah. Because they're not, because I remember saying that if you've ever seen the series Community, mm. Mm. they did a similar thing where there was an app going around the college there, an app that if you you had to be more popular, they ended up fighting, fighting, and you know, to, mm -hmm. to, to, you have to stay on a certain amount of, of, of lights there's from people around you, so if you offended anybody, it was, so a yeah, it was a could, similar sort of setup. There's a good film that we could watch for research as well, for research, um, <laughs> 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 um, called Nerve. And it's about oh, I love that film. Black. It's so good. They yeah. And, and they have to, so they'll have a, like a, a profile and then they'll have followers saying like, I'll give you £200 if you go, um, so like one of the theirs is, I'll give you £200 if you go and sing to um, an attractive female in a bar. And then someone has to video it and then they'll get the £200. And it gets to an extent where people are like, I dare you to walk on a ladder that's between two buildings and windows and you have to walk across it and get like a grand or something. And then there's another one where it's like you have to shoot somebody. So it gets to an extent where it's mad. But like the, people are coming to like, you're a insane, you're a hero. We do all of these incredibly stupid <laughs> stuff for money. But it's all about how social media can force that. So maybe you can have somebody who wants to be a YouTube star. Yeah. And the who, extent they'll go to to get to. The extent they'll go to, and it could be ridiculous. <laughs> they end up, and maybe you could do it in a less murdery way. Yeah. But they could be more like every time they appear, they've got like a bigger bandage across themselves, or just like, Do you love me yet? <laughs> you're like, all like, no, you come in as a crutch, each time it's different, more advanced maybe each time, so they get more wrong with them. Going, Hi everyone, I'm gonna start my new YouTube, I'll do anything you ask me to do. You're in charge of me, you tell me what to do. All right, okay, oh, this is coming in, somebody wants me to ski, oh, okay, I'll see you next week, and then the next thing, okay, now me what you want. You know, but to make it build up like that. So if you put YouTube down as a... <coughs> <coughs> mm, so oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's death scene in the middle of it. <laughs> there was, like, a thing at one point where pedophiles were using YouTube, like, kids get themselves to a bar and be like, oh, we'll subscribe if you show us this and this. And that it's actually a really disgusting new social media platform. I don't know what it's called. And it's like Twitter but it's for nudes, basically. So what they do is they create this... Um, <laughs> I was going to think of a name, but I don't know what they're saying. Um, my friend has it, which I completely disagree with, but anyway. Oh, is it just for fans? I have no idea. I think it might, might be just for fans. And they post photos of them sexually, um, and, but they're locked, and you have to pay 10 pounds yeah, a month fans. just to see their photos. Just for fans. And me and my, my friendship group were like, what is going on? Like, it's one of our mates, that she's... She lives in uh, Bath and she's quit uni, she can't come out of, out of there because she's in so much debt or whatever. 
and so she started this big chat like this big page and it's just photos of her body and like um, people would pay like it's 10 pounds a month or like and like you can see the captions on it so it might be something like oh you'll never guess what i'm wearing today and obviously they'll pay to see it and it'll be like her and her bra and knickers I said, I was like, I want to start and be like, I want to like make one, but like, told you, never guess. You didn't guess. If she's like a legal consenting age, then there's nothing wrong with it. It's just do what you want. No, there is so wrong. I don't like that. It's so gross. It's her putting her nudes for men anywhere or whoever to see it. Like, I was saying, I was saying to the girls about it. Like, if she finds a partner and they find that page, then she might meet someone and they'll be like, oh yeah, I've, I've thought sexually about your, your girlfriend yeah. because her nudes are all over the internet. Yeah, but at the end of the day, sexual pleasure is a natural thing. No, but it's not that natural to post your body sexually all over the internet. Like, it's, it's not on the internet, it's natural. Huh? Not on the internet, it's natural. Uh, yeah, but that's the most unnatural thing. <coughs> I think, anyway. I think, uh, I don't know, yeah. That's just, that's just my opinion. Just a bit just well, like yeah. your opinion there. Oh, you know what's going on. All right, so, so what about, do we have in this story, are we having one character who pops in and out, it's the same person, are we having a series of stories? Oh, actually, I just thought so. Really it's leaning more towards a series of stories. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. I just thought so really cool of the YouTube thing where we set up and it's literally just someone facing the audience and there's a camera there and they're doing a video, like you said, every time. And you don't ever see them actually doing them in the den, and then the group told them they just keep coming in, and they're more battered, but they're going to the audience, like, hi guys, and they're like, I don't know, I just like to Yeah, yeah, so quite good. You can do, you, if, you haven't, if you haven't got the technology with you on tour, yeah. you can always have it. Yeah. You can you, you make it look as if you've got a screen, uh, a screen there, can you, by using just Make props. a chance for a car on a YouTube. Yeah, exactly, um, yeah. Well, you know, a few. I think we did a like a, a mo- we made a mobile phone, didn't we, on a yeah. screen, and we had like a, with all the apps and things like that. Just what, what if you did it like as a, you did it like as a vlog thing? So like, you know, like people do this sit down vlogs and talk about themselves. Yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, so then we sit down facing the audience talking about. Yeah, yeah, but to do it live rather than recording because mm-hmm. you might not have yeah, the technology right. available. Yeah, yeah, so something like that. But so you could maybe have. Almost like the, the maybe like loads of stuff on the internet. You know, all the even like when they did a thing about the internet a couple of years ago, when Matt Cooper's group was and TJ's group was here. Mm. Everything's changed since then. Mm. It's all changed. All the things that they were thinking about then completely it's got out of date already. I think memes were a lot bigger then than they are now. Yeah, yeah, the memes are massive now. Yeah, they're still big. They're not big half as big as they used to be though. Which, which one's big? Sorry. Memes. Memes. I think that maybe they're. I, I don't know a huge amount about it. I really rely on you for this information. Like, but I, I think, it's, I think, it's I think totally the platforms the they're involved with are completely different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like the, in terms right. of like my Facebook yeah. feed thing on there, I don't see memes half as much as I used to. Really? Yeah. What about emojis? They, so they're still emojis are still very relevant. Yeah. But yeah. They, are they something you could bring in? Yeah, probably, yeah. Because they obviously at this age they're starting to get to their Emoji first would be a good way to kind of just visually show someone's feelings. Yeah, really. on that foot page. I know we talked about it too, but this might not be just should have Mr. Wrong shoes his face just being a mode. You could, yeah. yeah. Just constantly change it. Yeah, you can have them on sticks, can't you? Know, mm-hmm. I mean, that is referring back to something we've done, but that's a couple of years ago. It's different kids. It doesn't matter. You can Should just rip off their whole Just, just have, just use that sort of thing. That's fine. I don't it's know. Hot dog. It was a good idea. Hot dog, hot dog, slag. <laughs> hot dog, slag. Slag hands. Slag hands. Slag hands. Slag hands. Slag hands. Um. So, so we don't necessarily, so we don't want like little Sally <coughs> arriving at a new school and this is like day one, then we go off and do something else and we come back, Sally's day getting bullied and over to then go off and come back, then another thing happens and then we, we kind, of, kind of try and work it out. I think we should come up with like four solid stories. So you think it's going to be separate things? Or we could do five solid stories and they're each hour individual stories. Oh! Mother, so build your own story and then have something funny so, or something internet You know how you said thing. having the fold of paper in the thing, instead of doing that, there's just the fold of paper in front of us, we know which one to pick up. And we pick it up and we read it out and then whatever it says on the thing, so like, I used to have a YouTube channel, blah, 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 um, it went horribly wrong. And that's the scene about the YouTube channel. And then it's another one like, oh, um, 
I was exploited on social media, and my body, whatever, sending news. That's another story. That's the five stories that we could, because obviously there's five of us, but each of us are the main person in those five stories. So yeah. your personal stories, but... But, but they don't have to be actually our own personal stories. We could just use those, so like the big picture, the, the YouTube, the, the TikTok, the news, the photo frames and all these ideas. And we could use the letters that we wrote as well, as, well, as the love triangles as well, yeah. and just create five solid scenes. Instead of all these tiny little different ones, we've yeah. done five solid scenes that were all individually made personal of, of that letter that we read out. Okay, then, so that's a good suggestion, isn't it? That's a good, um, so having like five solid, but not a necessarily related character. No. Yeah. It could be an individual, it's sensual, individual, yeah. a, different, a different Sally in each time. Different Sally. Uh, so, how about the concept of what are the issues? What do we need to get across to these kids? The, the original sort of commission was related to not just the internet, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Just general bullying and not being able to deal with emotions in the real world as well as online. So should we do, like, I think the love triangle would do good. Social media effects, so that could be the YouTube or the, the sending of the news. I think sending of the news is a big one we need to do because it's so relevant. Like, it's still such a big thing. And I think now it's more of a, like, it's just a thing now. Whereas it used to, like, a bit further on, when it like my brother's age, it used to be like, oh my god, that's so weird. Like you did that. And I suppose now with, like, yeah. with the sending news, you've got to try and work that into. To be fair, I've got a story of what happened when I was about five, sort of age, and did that sort of thing. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind that being used. I like my when I was five, sort of age, that sort of thing. Yeah. So like my one of my friends who I won't mention, like she was with a boy who she sent news to, and he sent it across the whole school, and like I, I can name many other schools that that's happened to. That's that that's been in as well. But like. Three times. Yeah, and it's, it's and it, like, it'll happen, that person will get affected, but everybody else acts as if nothing's happened. Like, you could ask anybody now, other than that girl it happened to, oh, I don't even remember it. Probably. But since that's happened, there are now laws in place, yeah. there are actual laws. Well, there laws was laws, there was laws there as well, because we had police officers come in and say, if you've got this photo on your phone, like, there's serious precautions to it, like, you'll get in trouble and stuff like that. Like, we had police officers come in, yeah, yeah. and everybody, like, deleted it and stuff like that. I never saw it. I remember the law side is something that they need to know about as yeah. well, you know, yeah. the, the laws actually... Actually, to, a so look at the current the current yeah. sort of legislation uh, related to that might be a few years. So that's okay. So just do so concepts. So uh, just put uh, sexual exploitation. Is that the right word? Yeah. Yes. Sexual exploitation. So you can, I suppose you can think carefully about the wording of that. Do it under concepts. Now. Tell the story. So that's one of our stories. One of our stories will be sexual exploitation. So the actual law is for Android. So sexual, sexual exploitation, then you've got the social media, uh, that's the social media, and then you've got the love triangle one, because then that's relevant in terms of that's not too, that's not too extreme, is it? It's just like... And you can decide actually whether these, in, these individual stories are verbatim or they are the same, or you try and put them into a scene, like um, the two people that are having a conversation, or a letter to, you know, or, you know a, a reply and a statement, so you can think about the different formations of that as well. That's two stories. So we've got the love triangle, we've got the nudes, we've got YouTube we were talking about, weren't we? Or is that, is that, is that a linking thing? I mean, YouTube could be a could be separate. Separate. thing because uh, it's kind of just exploring like the consequences of that's and, a funny, the risks, funny story. and the risks yeah, of funny putting story. up videos and stuff and yeah, the feedback. So that could be a thing, but it could be a linking scene. That, so you've got the main serious stories, it's like you're thinking so five yeah. serious stories, but in between that you break it up with an emoji story, a YouTube story, a silly, just like the, the, the silly stuff. Maybe, maybe there's, there's a possible, sorry, you were going to say something then, Oh uh, yeah, um, what about someone who's being bullied for someone who isn't even them, a parent or a sibling or um, uh, when I was in year 11, I got bullied quite badly for my girlfriend because she, she was quite disliked in the school. But just things like that. Sorry, it's just an idea I had for a different. So being, di branch, so being branch, by something related, so by someone related or something. Yeah, yeah. Guilty by association kind of thing. Yeah. 
maybe the essay like that, so bullying by like, association or some kind of bullying in school. It might be quite nice to have some kind of, do, do we have all the like, super, there's no way out of this. You want, maybe, maybe you can show a one scene where somebody is strong and somebody <coughs> does come back and somebody does, you know, if somebody's getting called hot dog swag, you go, know, I like this outfit. I look good. <laughs> I'll wear it in the chair. Just put um um just put one as dealing with emotion then. I'm not just hitting everyone like it was Facebook and YouTube videos. Awesome kid destroys bullying. <laughs> yeah. Violence There's is that. always the answer. There's one of those themes as well that a kid being judged by what they look like. So being so that, that, that young people really very much the important thing is, isn't it? It's become such a thing, it's very superficial. What it is you look like is the important thing. And how other people see you is important. So maybe you could do a little bit of something with that and then like a, a thing with the, you know, trying to put the makeup on and trying to get the eyebrows right. You know, yeah. Maybe like a little bit of a so sketch appearance. about appearance being super important. Because that's the same as well with like, pro like product clothing, like, um, Brands and stuff, so like if you have a certain brand, like it's soon as like more popular. Like flashback. Cousins, yeah. I had a flashback, no, I had a flashback last week, but that thing really was when I was a student. That's a uh, yeah. Actually, you guys missed out. It's a piece we did, a, a design piece. So the, the copyright was done on this, even, you know, having an idea because it's over 20 years ago. But um, <laughs> the, um, we did a thing called, I think the, the piece was called Pork Roast. Pork Roast, the yeah, piece was called that. I can't remember why it was called Pork Roast, but it will come back to me at some point. But there was a thing where me and Jackie Russell, my friend Julie, we, she was, she was, we were always paired together because we were physically so different, me and Julie. She's like this tiny little thing, like really, but a little firecracker. That's why she's always known as Jackie Russell. And, um, and so we'd be physically, we'd, we'd do a lot of stuff with, with that in performances because of that. And so that whenever there was a thing to be done, we'd turn around, turn it around. So I could be the one who drops and she had to carry it. Like really, you know, like we'd really mess around with it. She was a tough old world. And, um, but we did this piece, it was, it was appearance and how, um, it, was, it was about plastic surgery, I think, we ended up how you wanted to adjust yourself and how we used the same clothes. She'd, she, I, I'd take off, <laughs> actually paid it in my uh, undergarments with this one, I'd take off something and put it on her and then it would all be pegged, pegged in to fit her, you know? So it was like plastic surgery, she was adjusting to, to be like me, even though it was the opposite way around to how you, you know? It's like a, like a metaphor for plastic surgery is that I'd take my dress off and put it on the tiny person, but she'd have to be multi-pegged to fit. You know, like trying to yeah. fit into something, just like a little metaphor for something. That was like, you know, the that's what we, we saw as metaphors in the 90s. So, okay, so. <laughs> but you, you, so you can, you, I suppose you could be more metaphorical than literal if you wanted to be about it. And that's a, a body image thing as well. absolutely massive and then the more they go behind this thing and they come out so so they've, they've they we make them look i don't know like the definition of ugly nowadays or whatever it is and then have the comments on that and then they come out and they improve themselves but the comments haven't changed because there's always something that someone puts on you for mm -hmm. even whether you're you're good looking or you're, you're ugly. They're and so they come back round and they've got bigger tits, they've got, yeah, yeah. I mean, breasts. Bruce. They've got some. <laughs> Bruce. They've got some, you know, yeah, so something different. They've got a, a blonde wig, yeah. they've, got, they've got everything. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah, yeah. lashes and they they still like. Ridiculousness of so it goes from like, you're so ugly to, oh, you're so slutty, like, oh, your, your waist is so skinny, it's like gross, like you're out of rest. Or your waist is not skinny enough. Yeah, and it's Maybe that could be the two messages. Your waist is too skinny, your waist is not skinny enough. Yeah. Like there's no in between, and then the character just breaks because like there's no 
slow between. So just put like a uh, body image. So it kind of ties in with that, that last yeah. one. Yeah, like yeah, just put a body image on top of it. And also the fact that someone somewhere is forever going to have a problem mm. with the way you are. You're not going to have, like... But, and, it's, and, it's, and it's almost trying to get, get into their minds that you've got to look beyond what other people, mm. and what, the, what their involvement is in, like your, well, in, your, in your image of yourself. I think now, like, it's good because, like, kids, there's not such a norm now with kids. Mm. Like, there used to be such a, like... A straight path for girls or a straight path for boys in terms of like dressing and things like that. Whereas now it's so different. Like you can do what you want. Like, like even obviously like at school you've got a uniform, but still you'll have people who will mix it up a little bit. Like I don't know. And like here you can tell as well the way people wear stuff, like and the way people dress is so different to how it used to be. Like there was such a straightforward like girls in skirts and nice tops and boys in trousers and tops. And now it's like girls you wear what you want, boys you wear what you want. Mix it doesn't matter. Like it's fine. Like. Like so, it's better now than it was before, I think. So I think that the conce- conception of what you wear to judge who you are, if that makes sense. Did I just make up something weird? No, it's no. quite a thing. Cause like, people think gender identity and gender presentation are the same thing. Yeah. It's like, if you identify differently to the birth sex, people expect you to dress in a certain way. Yeah. But you don't have to. There's, you don't have to pass to be valid, and people think you do. That's what I like. I do, and I don't agree with like, like in a shop there being a girl section and a boy section, because, like me myself, I will personally like in urban outfits I go straight to the boy section because I know like this is the boy section. Like, yeah. And they're called Roy. Well, they're called Roy, and I I don't like for me I won't go. Oh, I I bought this from the boy section. Like I shouldn't really be wearing it. I don't care. Like I don't feel like there should be in a boy or girl section. I went in there the other day with one of my friends. And, he was literally saying, like, oh, I'd love to wear that, but it's in the girls' section. I was like, what does it matter? Nobody's going to look at that and be like, oh, that's a girl's top, because you're wearing it, it looks good. Like, what does it matter? Like, that's why I don't think there should be a separate section. I think it should just be the whole shop. Same with age as well. Yeah. You know, people say, oh, I can't wear that. But they they just say, it's mum and lamb. You're too old for that. Too old. Where are you comfortable with? I'm not what you're wearing. Like, my mum will come down. Nicks? Nicks my leather trousers, so that's what. Like my mum says that all the time. She's like, yeah. oh, it, it was a bit too young for this, or am I too old for this? And I'm like, what are you on about there? Like, but there are some, there are some uh, what they call some like slippers she wears, and I'm like, they make you look a hundred. <laughs> they are horrible. <laughs> hundred year old slippers. Literally. <laughs> Victorian slippers. Um, yeah, but I suppose that's a whole other pathway, isn't it? Identification. <laughs> But it, I, I suppose you can have that maybe <coughs> if it's like this rotating person, do they have to, this rotating person changing, maybe part of the rotation is they come out wearing clothes that are maybe much more down to earth, but it's ident- their ident- it goes with their identification. Yeah, yeah maybe you can tie in different themes then. It doesn't have to be just like a pinching waist, it could also be, you know, a loose shirt and short hair, or, you know, it could be anything like that, couldn't it? Just how- I think as well, tying into that in terms of, like, like you were saying, like, what we say, gender, what you wear, and like yeah, the gender, gender identity people. and gender expression. Yeah, so you could have sexuality on there. Is it? Because well, that's a sexual thing with young people nowadays, because obviously it's not so hush hush. Yeah. People do talk about it, so they kind of realise. And I think that sexuality is much more of a, like, a acceptable thing now. Mm. Like, and there's much more, like, I definitely know more now about sexualities than I did before. Like, I thought that was just straight, bi, gay. I didn't know there was all these other ones, that there was, like, it, so I think that's a very relevant one as well. And, like, being comfortable with, like, that it's okay, I think that's a really relevant one. So, so I suppose you could to consider all these different themes, is how many themes can you have in it, and also how complex can it be, mm-hmm. and how simple do they need to be to make it, like, do you get it? Do you understand what we're trying to say? Mm-hmm. Um, trying to stick to the And end. also, do you kind of end in an upbeat way to say, you know, it's it will be all right? Yeah. You'll, you, this too will pass and your life will be better you know, if you're that's why, that's why it's good to have the, the clothing one and the sexuality one because it's, it's one that we can show it will be alright and it's like what's it matter? Be who you we are. could use like free transition pics, like yeah. that's hilarious <laughs> and like we could have we could literally have these two in like dresses and I'll wear like boy clothes and show them what's it matter that you're wearing these things the only thing I can think of that is um or like girly clothes. Like With gendered clothes. Not so much girly clothes or masculine clothes or feminine clothes or masculine clothes as like when you say about the uh, different sections in a clothes shop, girls' clothes are meant to shape a body a certain way and guys' yeah. clothes are meant to shape a body a certain way, if That's that makes sense. Yes, yeah, but, but like there 
there are some clothing that don't do that at all. Like this doesn't shake. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, completely. So that's what I'm saying. Like those type of clothing, I, I think anybody can. I don't think there should be a, a label on that. But like, anybody can wear. Yeah. Like maybe, maybe you know, some of these themes are going to be so huge mm. they could be a, they could be a story on their own, couldn't they? Themselves, yeah. So that's what you've got to you've got to say. Can, how many can we effectively manage to get across what's been asked for in like a half hour performance? Yeah. That's it, because some, these, these, some of these stories can be huge on their own. Mm. So then you've got to say, okay, how far down each route can we go? Because, you know, gender identity is a huge story. Mm. That could be a whole story, couldn't it? Or um, um, the internet itself can be a whole story. The, um, the whole idea of sexual exploitation is a whole story. So you've got to think, okay, what's manageable in this half hour or, or, or 45 minutes? What can, we, what can we effectively, to get across what it is, which is... So I think that's our message, the original message. I think yeah. we could as well, like when you're saying the, this, you could have a whole big story on, we could make those, the ones that we think we could have a big story on, as those could be the five things that I'm on about. So like we could have the, <clears throat> the sexuality one, we could have the cyberbullying one, like all these ones that we could have a full story on, we'll do those for the five stories. Because there's so much, for social media, because that could be one in itself, that could fit in with the YouTube stuff, the, the ascending of the nudes, the TikTok, the... All of it, the bigger picture, that's all social media in itself. Right, subject of bullying, online and not online, dealing with emotions, how to deal with various situations. Um, what was the second thing? Sort of body, body image. Body image. Yeah. So bullying is definitely. <coughs> So a few of them are sort of how they can affect your sense of self and whatnot, like a metaphor of fire, yeah. perhaps. Do you, think there's, um, do you think there's still scope for people being bullied online as even like messenger and things like that, getting into messenger groups that... Um, oh, yeah. So there's a new thing that just came out about... Messenger, messengers, and you've got people sending you, don't you? What's the new Sarah or Sahar or whatever it is? Sarah? A new oh. one, there's like a, another one that's exactly... Is it like Something? Probably. These anonymous question things, um, they can be oh, I, pretty dark. The last thing I knew was called was Ask FM. Ask FM was brutal. I asked Dylan Sprouse a question and he replied. Oh, wow. A screenshot of it, I still don't know. Mm. Okay, then, right, so the age group I've done, really, was 17 to 18, year, year 7 to year 8. A lot of them have problems setting in it, sitting in it at senior school. <coughs> have friendship peer problems with anxiety, depression, bullying, social media. So anything on that line will be good. Oh, we've got some mental health stuff to play with. Mm. I didn't know that anxiety and depression was a part of the actual yeah. stimulus. Make an, can, if you, if you, do you want to take a picture of this and then start again? And then you can use the, it. And then we'll just get down the main points that Susie's put in this follow-up um, message. It's a bit I'm watching you on the screen as well as watching you on in real life. Oh my lord. But Sam sat down. Oh my god. Ah. Inception. But where am I? Ah. Wait, Sam, 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 Sam. Sam. Oh, Inception at all. Is there? Yeah. Got that one down? Um, I didn't fall asleep like 10 Has Sam got up yet in so. your video, Sonia? Has Sam got up in your video yet? Oh, Sam is now taking a picture. Yeah, can you see me behind him? Yeah. But you're, that's you. you're still doing the same thing. You're doing the same thing as them. <laughs> Sam's just now giving the phone back to Kane. Now Sam is walking to sit down, he's bending over. He's picking, he's picking up his own phone. Looking at it in class time! What is that? Clean that up if you've taken a picture of it. Now he's doing a dance. Like, <laughs> now he's doing a dance. Why are you opening my mouth really wide yet? Did you know? I went. Oh, I was Kilo over and die. Oh, you put it away, just slice that cake. Okay, <laughs> you put it away on the screen. Just like that. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I okay, so. So we know it's going to get to the 7s and 8s, so that's 11, 12 to 13. Did we get to 13? Mm. Yeah, 13, we'll say. Maybe, did, yeah, 13. 11s to 13s. A lot of them have problems, so settling, problem settling in at a senior school. That big jump. From primary school being the oldest there, the biggest being suddenly the youngest. And you 
know, meeting, making a whole new friend group. Thank you very much. Stimulus. Stimulus. <laughs> so, what I just said, problem settling at seems to social media of bullying, that could lead to depression, anxiety, like effects of self-worth and stuff like that. Especially once, that age, well. yeah. once again, it's one anxiety and depression, that's a, that's a big story too, yeah. isn't it? That's, a, and that's, that's a, a hot topic. I think that should be the theme that we like keep throughout the effects of all these different things that we do. But in some way, keep it in going some up. way there's got to be an ending where it's going to be okay. Light, lightened at the end where yeah. even in these, all these stories that it's different, they were all okay at the end. They all dealt with it, it was all okay. They got through it. Yeah. Very classic. Just so they know that they... they that they can survive with this being world we live in. So, um, so that going into secondary school then, the whole idea of getting... There was a suggest- did, we, did we have that on the list of possi- possible scenes where the whole idea of being in the new school and somebody picking on you straight away or, or people picking on you? We mentioned that earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to fit in. So you've got that isolation idea, haven't you? The trying isolation. to fit in thing. So you, maybe you could do a little mix of isolation movement, then a scene of some kind that relates yeah. to it. Mm. And the feeling, so like the feeling of being isolated by movement and then the actual reality of it, of going into the new or oh, we school. could do like um, how like somebody who's got anxiety or is feeling anxious, what they see because they're anxious and what is actually going on. Like it's not actually that bad. Like because they're anxious, overthinking. They're overthinking it, and they're like, oh, oh something on overthinking might be good. Yeah. yeah. So like yeah. how the reality of it is nothing actually bad has really happened. Similar like for me, like the, the, I get anxiety, and I don't know if it's, it is anxiety or, or it's just a, a thing. When like if someone will say. Like if came to say to me, someone's been slacking me off. Even if I know for a hundred percent fact I haven't, my head will think you did, you did, you definitely did, you just don't remember, you did it, you did it, and it'll, I'll over then overthink and then think, right, I can't speak to Kate anymore because I've been horrible, I can't do that. Absolutely. And like at work, they'll be like, oh, we had a theft today, and I'm like, oh my god, it was me. It wasn't me, but it was me. I hundred percent did that. Yeah. And my brain will do that. I don't. Everybody has like levels of that, but my yeah, brain I think always so. does I think, that. Yeah. So overthinking, yeah, because that maybe that, that's the thing in itself, isn't it? That whole overthinking, um, somebody just said hi to me. The, the first day at school, oh, he just said hi to me. That means, and then go into a whole like yeah. about what it all means. Yeah. And then somebody else comes past, you're eating your dinner going, they want to sit with me. Oh, that means that I smell, that means, you know, like, kind of, kind of, it's kind of like a monologue of, maybe a monologue, like a frantic monologue of trying to overthink every single situation. Mm-hmm. That dog's looking at me in the park. That means it was <laughs> That doesn't bite me. I'm going to get rabies. I'm going to die. I'm going to sit. Like, oh, yeah, you can yeah. sit. You're really dead. Don't do that. Like, yeah. Might be, it might as well be my Yeah, all right, so that's good. Relatable. Charlie said that's relatable, so maybe we can have a little bit of an overthinking. But maybe be kind of light hearted with it, but not so. Just so they know that we understand that it's okay. So some of it could be like, why is that person talking to me in school? Blah, 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 blah. Why is that dog looking at me? It's going to bite me. I'm going to get rabies. And, you know, so you have like a variation on lots of over, over There's thinking. one that I read that it was like um, a simple um, consequence of not bringing a pen in school. You don't bring a pen in, you don't take the test, you don't oh. get the job you want, you don't look attractive, you don't get a wife, you then become homeless and then you die. Just because you didn't bring a pen in over school. Overthinking, there you go, you can have, maybe that you have a series of that sort of thing in it. And it could be somebody just as simple as sitting down to, on their first day in school, just sitting, the bell goes, they sit down, first day in school, sit down. What's 
to somebody else. Share the screen. Yeah. You know, and then a whole Someone big thing else. Oh no, I've got no friends. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, and like a like a whole maybe a whole big um, a series of things that come out. Yeah, that'd be a nice one, wouldn't it? You could come up with something for that. And that could be maybe a recurring thing that pops up occasionally. Yeah. The person would come back to them, they're still. Because we could then that. we could do the whole like oh blah 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 blah, and then actually it's the. The, the, the calm of the storm where it's actually like no, do you know what, no, that's fine that that's happened. maybe they're in the middle of this and then maybe somebody comes up to them at school, at school and goes oh, you new kid, hi yeah, my name's such and such yeah. and maybe they, they stops there overthinking like, for a minute and then that it could be whether they think they don't think they look very nice with what they're wearing or something and then the person comes along like oh, I, love, I love your new shoes or something and it's like, calm yeah, so for that moment then it stops yeah. it so those little tiny things because you can't cure it on the spot but those little tiny gestures You're could be a make Cured. I got yeah, that was, right. So maybe you can have something like that, yeah. Huh? And that one per- so one person just comes up and stops them overthinking for that moment, gets them out of that cycle they've got into that second, and then they go back to starting again. I like that idea. Yeah? Okay. Overthinking. Just put overthinking sort of monologue and kind, kind words that kind of stops them for that moment. Toilet posters a lot in this club. <laughs> there's also ones around there's about toilet. men's mental health, isn't there? Yeah. Um, about saying um, about if your mate has gone quiet, don't don't stop bantering with them or some things like that. Because mm-hmm. you know, just acting normally, being your normal self with them, can make a difference to them. So maybe there's something in that with the overthinking. And there's that whole thing about sk- just telling men to man up as well. Like, mm. it's like, that's just ridiculous. Would you like, I think man up, we might, that, might, that as a word might Harris come up in discussion, might it be, at some point, man up. So you've written stop it. Really it's early on when we first got the commission, hmm? the man up. So you've written stopping it and then scribbled it. Like that coming to be man up, we've said that, haven't we? Yeah, there was that thing I read and it was like, um, like the rates of, it's getting a bit depressing, but the, the rates of like suicide and like how in the papers or something, there was so many photos of like celebrity, male celebrities crying. Like the title was like mad. So maybe you could have the, like the contrast between the girl crying and, and somebody comforting her, yeah. then the man. <laughs> you know, like a, maybe just a little throwaway yeah. scene, maybe the man up. Yeah. Yeah. There's quite a lot there, isn't there? We good. There's like three or four whiteboards worth of stuff. There's three or four, yeah, we got stuff. So now, just just before we try, that's fine. Um, we get let's, let's think what we've just talked about, all the possible material. Let's think about what we already have from a couple of whiteboards ago, and what can we. So we've got some stuff in reserve if we need it, movement wise, idea wise. What can we use? What have we got already that we can use for any of this? Well, movement wise. Well, any of the stuff we've got so far. Any of the stuff that is a. So, shall we stop this live feed now? Yeah.